She's an award-winning chef in one of our most beloved cities. Bill Whitaker of 60 Minutes asks Dominique Crenn just what's cooking. This is the fennel. Mm. It smells delicious. Delicious. It tastes delicious. It's before COVID-19 spread through mm, California, mm, oh, we visited French chef Dominique Crenn and her six-year-old twins at her picturesque organic farm in Sonoma County, north of San Francisco. The calmness of this place is like, okay, let's bring that back to the craziness of the kitchen and be calm. And I, I, I can taste that? Yes. I mean, I hope so. The farm was sprouting to life in the California sun. The early spring seemed to renew the land and Kren, you clear your mind here. who at the time was busy overseeing her growing enterprise, two restaurants, a bar, and a soon-to-open bakery. It's going to be a big, big patisserie, boulangerie. Then the coronavirus hit. The industry is kaput. It's done. You're talking about restaurants? Yeah, it's not going to be the same. Every day, I see five, six, seven restaurants that will never reopen. And everybody say, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! One of the world's leading chefs, Kren, was pained by how the virus afflicted the restaurant industry. When Californians were ordered to shelter in place in March, Kren had to lay off 50 staffers. A restaurant, a small business, leave day by day. If they're lucky, they can make maybe up to 5% profit. That's not a lot. Atelier Crenn, her three-star centerpiece, known for its dazzling interpretations of French food, began providing meals for frontline workers and selling dinner through the front windows. Your fine dining restaurant is now a to-go restaurant. Yeah, a really cool one. <laughs> this was Atelier Crenn on a Friday night before the virus. Dinner service, a well-orchestrated symphony of food in motion. In the kitchen, Chef Jean-Christophe Bourguignon works with Maestro Crenn to design each course. He tastes each before serving it. Some nights, they serve 15 courses a sitting. Oyster is perfect. Each plate a piece of art with an eclectic mix of ingredients to delight the palate, like this tartare of spiny lobster, which I got to taste too. <laughs> that is wonderful. Dominique Crenn never went to culinary school. It's very French. But food is her passion. Buttery. Buttery. It's all about butter. After arriving in California from France in 1988, she worked her way through kitchens in San Francisco and Los Angeles. And in 2011, she opened Atelier Crenn. You don't talk like most chefs. Well, I don't think I'm a chef. You don't think you're a chef? <laughs> no. I'm just someone that I found... Um, uh, a way of speaking. It was not a pen, it was not a brush, it was food. So are you an artist? Ah. Yes. Her artistry catapulted her to the forefront of America's chefs. The Netflix show Chef's Table and a James Beard Award raised her profile. Earning three Michelin stars has given Kren a platform to influence the way we relate to food. Delicious. She recently cut meat from the menu, but that hasn't cut her customers or her accolades. We had one Michelin star, two Michelin stars. Right. And you get a call that tells you you've gotten a third Michelin star. Right. How amazing is that? We must have done something good. First woman in the United States to get three stars. Right. You were also the first woman to get two Michelin stars. Yeah, it's 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 interesting to be the first when you say first female chef. It's weird, right? Hmm. At, at one point, you were called the world's best female chef. Why do why, why do you roll your eyes? Why do you bristle at that? Because I was I was a bit. Um, Sort of, sort of diminished in Yeah, some diminished. Way. You're not considering us as being the best chef. But you're considering us as, well, let's take the woman just on their own mm. and let's pick someone that is, will get the award. Why not the world's best chef? Right. She knows what her authentic self-envision is and 
how to make that a reality in the world, mm. and I admire that. She doesn't listen to anyone else's rules. Chef Kren listened to her heart and got engaged to actress Maria Bello of CBS's NCIS in December. Kren's new memoir is dedicated to Bello. In her memoir's dedication, Dominic calls you the love of her life. What does that mean to you? It's nice to believe in fairy tales, right? She, she and I, we just lit each other up from the first minute we met each other and it felt so familiar and comfortable. Love of my life. <laughs> you know, the depths and layers of Dom's food. That's who she is in life, too, the way that she builds layers of flavors. I feel that you build layers of love. Buoyed by the love of her life and her love of food, Kren was on top of the world. But last year, her world was shaken like a California earthquake when she learned she had breast cancer. I remember I asked my doctor, I am, I'm in trouble. I say, no, but you got to do the work. And I'm like, okay. And then you start to peel the layer of who you are and start to look at yourself in the mirror and you like start to learn so much about who you are. What'd you learn? A lot of humility. Your health today? Amazing. I'm good. My hair is coming back. My eyelashes, uh, cancer free, but I'm good. I'm stronger than ever. With indoor dining in California on hold, Kren says she's eager to open her restaurant again with modifications like partitions between the seating. People are going to need to feel safe. Like actually Kren, you know, I'm, I'm going to redesign it as a new experience. Dominique Kren calls herself a warrior. She survived cancer and she has no doubt her restaurants will survive the coronavirus. Bad is amazing. Right. The same thing with cancer, I'll say, okay, I have something in front of me that I've never dealt with before. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to fight it, and I'm going to win.